Hi guys, it's John from SurfFX and today we've got the 2020 Fanatic Stingray. Now this one here is in the limited construction with the nice blue colorway. Now the Stingray is their dedicated foil windsurf board. So we're getting more and more of these in the market now. The foiling is really taking off because it lets it sail otherwise in conditions. Otherwise you'd be sitting on the beach twiddling your thumbs. What they've done with this board is to make it easier and comfortable to sail. So being a dedicated board, they've got a change to the rail. So they've got a bevel to the rail, particularly to the front, so it's a little bit more forgiving if you're gonna come down and catch. But then they keep it really quite crisp to the back to get it, so when it's a, all about the release to get on the foil earlier. So having a sharp rail in the back, water comes off real clean and easy. Good release, board lifts up, on the foil, off you go. Width-wise, it's a quite squared off board, super stable, keeping that length down a bit. There's a couple sizes in this board. Uh, the two main ones are actually the same length, but they're just slightly different in width. A couple little things they did to make it easier again, all about adjustability. They've got a slightly longer mass track than they use in the other boards. So if you're using a massive like, you know, nine meter sail or something down in like a four and a half, you've got the range in the mass track to dial that in nicely. Foot track placement for the foot straps. You've got an inboard, outboard as per usual on most windsurf boards. It is a quite a bit more parallel setup because you are a bit more squared off in your, and upright in your stance when you're foiling. So just to make it a more comfortable setup, and again, being a dedicated board, it doesn't have that crazy, you know, a lot of angle on the foot straps. Real wide on the back end, gets you right across so you can rake in and uh, sheet in the sail. So pointing up wind, the, you know, if you're foiling yet or if you haven't started yet, these things just blast up wind. Foils are, it's actually, in most of the sports like kite foiling and stuff like that, it's hard to go downwind on these. They just want to go upwind like you wouldn't believe. Now, this is the special thing about this board. It's got both boxes. So you can run a plate setup. So if you have your surf foil and you want to just go with some light wind cruising, you can put your plate setup board on, foil on here. You've got a tuttle option as well. It's just a standard deep tuttle. So if you have a windsurf specific foil, uh, you can chuck that on there too. So most foils now, particularly the surf foils, uh, from from the brands that do products for both sports, uh, you are able to get a different size fuselage, uh, different top plates, stuff like that to adapt. So it really keeps your options open for what you want to use foil-wise on this board. 